doing is catching animals. There's a grass flat that runs from here, probably about three quarters of a mile, maybe even longer down, down there. And all along it, it doesn't get any deeper than three or four feet. And it's kind of an estuary for, um, for baby animals. Could be baby trout, could be baby uh, shrimp, could be, well, we'll see, baby pretty much anything. <laughs> and it's the Manatee River, so the water's brackish. So it's about a, um, it's a little less salty than the rest of the Gulf. So we'll see if it changes. Our next stop is going to be, we're going to do our next collection probably in January out closer to the Gulf. So it'll be a different salinity. So we'll be to see if we capture different things. Okay, uh, there's oyster, mussel, scallops. We're not going to go far and deep or anything like that. So um, we would usually see some tube worms. Uh, some, maybe even a conch, or, uh, once I saw a jellyfish and I got stung right up here. Oh, it was horrible, I was messing around with it. When oh, oh my goodness. So Ryan, you, Ryan, you stay out here and identify and I'll just start to move people. Oh, I just got one of my foot. Oh, I already caught something. Hey, Julia. 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 Yeah, very cool. Allie, look. Look here. He's a flounder. Is he cool? Oh, you got your bucket. Oh, you don't. Here. Let's put him in the second bucket. Okay. Oh, let me show you how to do it. Right. Well, I found a big shrimp. Mom, can you get this big shrimp? Uh huh. You know what we'll do is we'll start off by keeping him in this bucket and then we can transfer him to Mr. The Duke's other bucket. I'm going to let. Here, that's good. Heavy. The little worms inside of it. <laughs>